Welcome to the Creative Hugza. In this tutorial, we will create a 3D text effect in Affinity Designer. Go to File New to create a new document. Go to Web. The size of the document doesn't matter, but I chose Full HD 1920 by 1080 pixels. Go to the Tools panel and grab the Artistic Text tool. Type your text. Then, go to the font family to choose your font. Try to use a font that's bold and chunky. The font that I chose was Corbel Bold. With the text still selected, right click and select Convert to Curves, changing the text layer to a group of curves. Select the text. Go to the Transform panel. Now, set the R rotation to 15 degrees and the S shear to 30 degrees. Next, press Ctrl plus J to make a duplicate of the group or right click on the group and select duplicate. Go to the layers panel and select the original group, the group listed at the bottom. On the document, hold shift and drag the original text group slightly down. Give it a different color so you won't confuse it with the original group. This color doesn't matter. In the Layers panel, select both text groups. Hold Ctrl to select both groups. Press Ctrl, Shift, plus G to ungroup the two groups. Or right click on the selected group and click Ungroup. Now, grab the Pen tool from the Tools panel. Take the Pen tool and connect the sides of the two Fs together. Make sure that in the toolbar you have the snapping turned on. Once you've connected the side of the F's together, go to the swatches panel and give the curve the following fill color. Get rid of the stroke color. Take the pen tool and connect the bottom parts of the F. Give this section the following fill color. Now, take the pen tool again and connect the other two parts of the F. Then, give those sections the following fill color. After that, select the top facing part of the F and give it the following fill color. Once you've colored and connected the F, select all of the F pieces. Then, press Ctrl plus G to group those pieces together. In the Layers panel, name the group F. It should appear at the bottom of the list. Now let's move on to the next letter in our 3D text effect, U. Take the pen tool and connect the left side and the bottom part of the two U layers together. Note, feel free to add extra nodes while connecting the layers if you need to. Also, to switch to the node tool while the pen tool is active, Press and hold the control key. After that, give the newly formed shape the following fill color. With the pen tool still active, connect the inner right part of the two U layers. Then, give that shape the following fill color. Now, select the top part of the U and give it the following fill color. Let's move on to the letter N. Take the pen tool and connect the left side of the two N layers. Give the newly created shape the following fill color. Next, take the pen tool and connect the two bottom parts of the end. 
Then give them the following color. Grab the pen tool again and connect the inner part of the end. Set the fill color to Now, take the pen tool and connect the other inner part of the end. Give this shape the same fill color. Then, select the top part of the end, set the fill color to Select all of the U pieces and group them together. In the Layers panel, label the U Group U. Finally, select all of the end pieces and group them together. And this is one way to create a 3D text effect in Affinity Designer. Instead of using a multicolor palette for your text effect, you can use a single color for your palette and adjust the value, lightness, or darkness of that color. Select the F group, double click on the top part of the F, and set the fill color to. Now, double click on the two green parts of the F, set the fill color of these shapes to. Then, select the side of the F and set it to. After that, select the bottom part of the F and give it the following fill color. Now let's move on to the U. Select the top of the U and set the fill color to. Select the inside of the U and set that shape to. Next, set the outer and bottom part of the U to. Let's move on to the end group. Double click the top part of the end. Then, set the fill color to. Now, select the top inner parts of the end. Hold shift to select both of them. Set the fill color to. Select the left side of the end and set its fill color to. After that, select the two bottom pieces of the end. Set the fill color of these pieces to. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.